What kind of car does a T-Rex drive? Written by Mark Lee and illustrated by Brian Biggs. Uncle Otto was having a summer sale, but so far no one had come to buy his cars. Where are all the customers? Ava asked. Maybe they're all on vacation, Mickey said. Well, I'm not on vacation, Otto said. I will sell a car to anyone or anything that shows up. And that's when a stegosaurus lumbered onto the lot. I'm looking for a car, he said. What do you recommend? Uncle Otto had never sold a car to a dinosaur. He didn't know what to say. Don't worry, Uncle Otto, Ava said. He's a plant eater. Okay, Otto replied. But what kind of car does he want? What about an off-road vehicle? Mickey asked the dinosaur. You can drive deep into the forest to find mosses and ferns to snack on. Perfect, the stegosaurus said. He jumped into the car, honked the horn, and drove away. Uncle Otto, look! But just then, a pterodactyl glided down from the sky. Not now, Mickey, Otto said. I want to sell a car to a... A pterodactyl, Ava whispered. Ah, it's too hot to fly, the pterodactyl said. Maybe I need to buy a car. You like the wind and you're a fish eater, Mickey said. How about a convertible? You can drive to the beach and glide from the cliffs to the ocean. Ah, good idea, the pterodactyl said. He hopped into his new car and headed for the shore. Uncle Otto, you'd better take a look at this. But just then, a triceratop ampled into view. Not now, Mickey, Uncle Otto said. I'm busy selling a car to a... A triceratop. Ava said. Great horns, Otto told the dinosaur. I bet you win a lot of arguments. I'm a gentle giant, the triceratops said. Do you have a vehicle that might suit me? What about a delivery van, Mickey suggested. The back is empty and you can get in through the rear doors. You're a dear. The Triceratops said. She climbed into the van and waved as she drove away. Um, Uncle Otto, what's the problem, Mickey? Suddenly, there was a loud thump, 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 and a Tyrannosaurus Rex appeared. The Stegosaurus and the Pterodactyl and the Triceratops bought cars, the T-Rex said. I want to buy a car, too. Certainly. How about this nice micro car? Uncle Otto suggested you can park it anywhere. I could never fit inside that, the T-Rex bellowed. Then he squashed the microcar with his powerful legs. I hear you loud and clear, Mr. Rex. How about this family minivan? The T-Rex bared his razor-sharp teeth. Can you really see me driving a minivan? A taxi cab? I'm not taking anyone for a ride. A sports utility vehicle? I don't like sports. Uncle Otto was starting to sweat. Oh, he squeaked at Mickey and Ava. The children whispered back and forth. Finally, they turned to the T-Rex. Follow us. We know the perfect car for you. A monster truck. The T-Rex loved the humongous wheels. He let out a roar of delight and hit the road. I'm changing the name of the business, Uncle Otto said. Dinosaurs are great customers. Maybe you should hire us to help, Ava said. That won't be necessary. I'm a dinosaur expert. That's when a really big customer stepped onto the lot. The end.